And I got a chance to finally go to Legoland. It's a and cool place. I had Very a fantastic cool. time at Legoland. As a matter of fact, that's what we're going to start the show with. I finally got to get. I finally got to go there. I've always wanted to go there. And Bill, you also got to meet someone who you've been kind of dying to meet for a while. That's kind of true. <laughs> uh, last week, before the uh, the not the quarantine, but before the uh, the isolation, uh, the maybe? shutdown of that. all the restaurants and the public places started, I got to go meet up with the Lego master builder in his redesigned studio at Legoland Discovery Center. When did you start playing with Legos? Uh, as, as early as I can remember, probably yeah. like four or five. Because I mean. I think I just, my older brothers had some Lego bits and then I would start playing with them as well. So. Do you remember what the first thing you ever built was? I kind of have a, a memory of this Lego set. I think it was called Pizza to Go. Okay. And it's like a pizzeria restaurant from like the mid 90s. Right. It was the first <laughs> set that had the pizzas in it. So that was like extremely exciting to have like a, <laughs> a pizza? Little, Lego, Lego? Little, little Lego minifig <laughs> pizzas. So I have a distinct memory of like putting that together. Fast forward uh, a couple decades and now you're the Lego master builder here at Legoland Discovery Center. And it all paid off. It all paid off, <laughs> obviously. Um, just talk through some of the cool stuff you guys get to do here. And this is, we're standing in your brand new workshop here, right? That's right, yeah. We just had a, an awesome redesign of the whole space and we're in a much bigger space now so we can make much larger, more exciting mm -hmm. uh, things. But it also gets the, gives the guests a much bigger view into sort of our workspace and the things that we do. Um, there's a new window in which we can talk to guests too, so it's a little more, um, it's a little more of a, a closer experience to the guests yeah. and what we get to make. First off, your organizational skills are amazing. I think we all maybe tried to do this as a kid. What's the one Lego piece that's hardest to find when you need to find it? The, the Lego piece that's hardest to find when you need to find it mm -hmm. is uh, whatever piece you need to find that's right. at any given time. <laughs> Which one are you yeah. find yourself looking for the most? Uh, well, now we just moved everything around here, oh, so I don't know where anything is anymore. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking for everything constantly. Yeah. Uh, the brick's pretty straightforward. We got all of our basic blocks down here, mm -hmm. uh, but more of our modular pieces are up here. But um, it is great. The first time I stepped into the old workshop, I was just kind of blown away yeah. by what seemed to be almost every single Lego piece possible. Um, it's not quite close to that, but uh, it is a lot to choose from and enough to build almost anything. Then what would be the most unique Lego piece out there? Um, that is a good question. Let me see if I can try to find... Look through the shelves. Hang yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Probably, so many to choose from. Probably something over here. Some of these bionic pieces are... are uh, I don't know how much I am enamored with them, but there's some pretty strange, yeah, strange pieces that you could, uh, that could, you could do a lot of things with, really. So very cool. Yeah. And in just a bit, we'll take you over to a new part of the Discovery Center and build a guitar inspired by the upcoming Trolls World tour movie. Well, Legoland, of course, is closed right now to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Now, when they reopen, I hope you get to check out this really cool new creative space. We're in a new spot here at Legoland Discovery Center. What is this new spot and what do kids get to do here? Yeah, so this is our new creative workshop. Uh, we just sort of opened it this year. And uh, this is a space where kids can come in, sort of get away from the noise, mm -hmm. uh, and parents as well, and do some sort of hands-on, one-on-one building okay. with our, our staff here. So there's a bunch of varieties of models they can build, learn how to build uh, cool creations, some more advanced and some a little easier, yeah. and some for the little kids as well. Well, and then I noticed you've got the cases in the back, some of the, some of the really intricate designs. How many of those did you do? Which ones specifically did you do? Uh, yeah, so I did a, a good handful of those. It's really a, a great combination between myself, our former master model builder, and a variety of assist, apprentices and other people we've had here. Which one is your favorite one that you've done over there then? Um, I, probably the Chief Summit. Chief Summit, yeah. It was yeah. the most complicated one to figure out. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really happy with how it turned out too. Well, we're going to go head to head against each other. I feel like this is not a fair fight at all. All right, well, I'm ready to throw down mm -hmm. on the guitar. I got my headband on. I'm ready to go. Joe, so, I'm going to have to utilize the constructions. I know you have built this. I'm going this. no instructions. I'm going to try to make it fair. A try time to even, or two. It, even it out a little bit. So, so set your clocks. Do you, for want, your do you want like a, a head start or something? Like a five second? No, I don't want a head start. I just right. want to struggle through this as best as I can, just like I do at home on the kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Shoot, mine just fell apart. <laughs> Well, 
I'm getting not so close here. Hang on. This is gonna be time lapse. It might look funny if I just took a nap or something. Yeah, just go ahead and lay your head down for a little bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell who won. It was such a close. I think I got you narrowly. Hmm. Maybe he kind of beat me, but he's a master builder. He's supposed to be better than me, right? All right. Uh, you guys remember back, you know, a couple of months ago, the Chiefs won that really big game. Well, uh, Joe's actually got a pretty cool tribute to that he's working on. We're going to take you behind the scenes uh, to show you that coming up at the end of the show. All right. Can you believe? It was just last month that there was a parade for our champion chiefs. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, but of course, a lot <laughs> has changed since yeah, then. Yeah, no joke. Today, uh, we've introduced you to LEGO master builder Joe Nunnick, and here's a sneak peek at his tribute to our hometown champions. Hey, you guys remember back in February when the Chiefs won that really big game? That was pretty cool, right? Well, there's a really big trophy that goes along with it, and our buddy Joe, the master builder here at Legoland, is starting to get it put together here. Man, this is fantastic. How tall is this trophy going to be once you have it all done? Uh, it should be five feet tall, exactly, okay. around there. So. And how uh, much do you think it's going to weigh? Well, it's, hard. it's starting to weigh quite a bit. It's yeah. getting kind of hard to move it to where I need to move it sometimes. Uh, so. Gosh, I don't know, it might end up being uh, around, you know, anywhere from 60 to 70, 80 pounds. Oh maybe. man. So you did the original big trophy uh, after the Chiefs won the big game, and you know, it, went all, it was all over the place, of course, here in Kansas City. We right. showed it on our show. Right. Uh, what kind of inspired you to do this bigger than life version? Yeah, so this is, you know, definitely takes the same shape uh, at the end of the day as mm -hmm. the trophy, uh, but this is more of just a monument to the Chiefs' victory uh, specifically. So we've got Chiefs colors, as you can see. Uh, the football, obviously, is going to go on here. <laughs> Not there yet, but working one brick at a time. Uh, so, yeah, and then we've got this sort of design. We were going through tons and tons of designs before we kind of settled on one that everyone seemed to like quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been a really fun and challenging process trying to figure out how to scale this shape up and um, uh, sort of get everything the way that it's supposed to feel yeah. uh, in 3D. So. And is this how you do it with graph paper and just a little bit of sketching and some time and a lot of thought? process into it? Yeah, or? that's basically yeah. <laughs> the whole story right there. So I've got, you know, the front right there drawn out, mm -hmm. and then I've got uh, sort of the side profile, which is a, a mirrored thing on the other side. So between those two drawings, it sort of tells me everything that I need to know uh, for what I'm building. But yeah, drawing those out was a lot of, yeah. again, like I said before, a lot of head scratching. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so. when, when are you anticipating uh, having this project done, and where can people go see it at? Uh, it should be done in April, sometime in April, date to be determined, and here at Lego Land Discovery Center, Kansas City, is the, the first place that it will be. And again, unfortunately, Lego Land Discovery Center is shut down until April because of the city mandate, but hopefully uh, this thing gets over with soon so you can go check it out. And thanks again to Joe for showcasing his new studio and some of the cool projects he's been working on. And of course, now would be the perfect time to work on some Lego projects at I home. Know. I know you had a couple favorites you're thinking about. I'm thinking about going home and trying some projects. <laughs> so 